Hey guys, welcome back to Naughty Styles. Today we're doing something very important. We chose to take a day off from the Miami boat show to show you something that we feel very passionate about. We've been trying to bring a boat like this to the channel for a long time and one of our subscribers has reached out and said, you guys need to check out the Impossible Dream. This is a purpose-built wheelchair access sailing catamaran, which to me was like, this is exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you for that, Joe Green. Really appreciate it. So we're here and we're going to show you what this impossible dream can do. Besides, obviously, the incredible mission that they're on, this yacht is full of super cool, innovative technology for the time that this yacht was built. I mean, we did a little run through and Rico was just geeking out, right? There's so much really cool technology on board of this yacht. It's which incredible. At the, at the time was something that you're now seeing getting implemented on the newer yachts. Exactly. And this yacht already had it. So no matter for what reason, you guys have to watch this video because it's absolutely fascinating. Yeah. The technology that they were able to accomplish on this yacht. I would love to introduce you to Benno, who is one of the crew members on board, and Deborah, who is the founder of Impossible Dream. Hi, Deborah. Hi. Oh, that's great. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for having us on board. Oh, really, my really pleasure. appreciate it. We also have Will, who is the captain on board. Good afternoon. We Welcome. also have Harry, who is, I don't know, his wife over there. Come over. We Harry have a big shy. crew. Yeah, we have a big crew. Rico is fascinated with his scooter there. Anyway, we're going to show you guys this very special project. We're gonna talk about how this came about. Got a little bit of a backstory now, a lot of a backstory. So we're really excited to share. First of all, we're gonna blow your mind and show you how we get on board. That is incredible. And that's how you do it. So easy Fantastic. and so fast. Yep. And simple. And none of this like crazy lifts that you see sometimes for wheelchair access that takes like a minute to no, it's, unfold. It's, it's, it's simple All right, and beautiful. Next. Hi. 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 And the beauty of this is it also works for you guys. And it works as a ramp. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Shall we uh, toss the lines and uh, you guys I know. go for yeah, Let's go. <laughs> let's go. We got let's the champagne? <laughs> <laughs> let's come all aboard right. and talk Thank about you. this, how this all came about. Deborah and I chatted about this for a while just because I wanted to understand. I know this was a purpose build. This is a huge difference, you guys. A lot of the time when we do see some kind of, you know, wheelchair or disable access on the yacht it was retrofitted afterwards yeah especially on sailing boats so it's really rare to see like a purpose built which the systems were there is so much on board of this that you will see further that is rico is just like shaking his head this is pretty incredible stuff so how did this come about this came about that i had an opportunity to sail on a catamaran that was partially accessible and i fell in love with sailing and being part of a community on a sailboat and being part of a crew and before that, I had never even been on the bow of a boat. I didn't sail until after my injury. I came here to Shake a Leg, which Harry is the founder of, and I learned how to sail here on 20-foot freedom boats. Shake a Leg is a marina, you guys. Yeah, Shake a Leg. Just so you oh, know, it's oh, a really it, funny name it. of the yeah. marina. <laughs> it's a Shake a Leg, and it's a marina, and it's a water sports activity center for people of all abilities. And Shake a Leg gave me my opportunity. So after I had this experience, I went to Harry and I said, I want to build a boat. Let's build a boat. Did he say you're crazy or did he say okay? No, no, no. He <laughs> never says anyone's crazy. Anyway, I started Googling and I found out about the Impossible Dream. Yeah. And the Impossible Dream was built in England. It splashed. Well, first you tried to actually custom yes, build one we, yourself, yes, right? Yes, we had a couple of meetings. That, which didn't go that great. Real misogynistic. <laughs> <laughs> they were cruel. Cool. Deborah wasn't in the room. 
Yeah, right. oh, yeah, it was that's like nuts. I was. Oh, wow. yeah. okay. That's just nuts. It was, yeah. And then when I mentioned my friend's book, they were terrible. Anyway, I Googled yeah. and I said, Harry, there's this boat for sale in England. And we wrote a letter. We started speaking to them with Skype. Neither of us had Skype at that time. <laughs> like, it was just. And, um, but what year is this? This was in 2013. Okay. I was over in Europe. I called Harry. I said, you want to meet me in Heathrow? He said, yeah. <laughs> we got in touch with everyone. They said, great, come. Obviously, they took the boat, made it look pretty nice. And Harry and I rented a car in Heathrow. We couldn't get in and out of the car. Our wheelchairs were in the back, and it was a really archaic system for hand control. And we were driving on the wrong side of the road. We had to pay for new tires. Oh, my God. And, uh, and we made it down there. Like, we would ask people directions. We would get lost sometimes. And people would say, come out. In the roundabouts, they had all these charts and maps and everything. And they say, come out. We'll show you. We go, we can't get out of the car. <laughs> come <laughs> out. <laughs> so finally, we got there. And we parked above. And we looked down and we saw the impossible dream. And it was pretty incredible. So the people that showed it to us were the builders. And they are called multi-marine composites. And they are in Plymouth. And they were lovely. They make the Daz Cat. And, um, so this was custom built for someone So this prior. was custom built for a gentleman named Mike Brown. He became a paraplegic in a skiing accident. He decided to take up sailing. And he sailed the Paralympics in 2.4s. Oh, wow. Then he had this boat built for him and his family. And it was designed by a gentleman named Nick Bailey, who was the designer of the cars on the London Eye. And pretty, you'll see that cool. the boat, it looks like it a little bit. It echoes of it. Mike sailed the boat for 10 years. Things were changing in his life, and mm -hmm. so it was time for him to... It was not a hard sale to you. You no, were like, no, I, was, <laughs> I love her, great. where do I sign? You know, he didn't even have to give me all the scotch that he gave me. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the boat and you knew it. Yeah. I think I cried. Yeah. I'll believe it. I w he probably cried when he sold it. He did cry. Yeah, yeah. I, actually. I mean, this it is... was his 65th birthday. Oh, wow. And he did. I and he I was so happy because he looked up Shake a Leg mm -hmm. and what we do here. And it couldn't have been more perfect for them. They were just so happy. And it's such a good feeling because we're close with them. And they're so thrilled that Impossible Dream is living a wonderful life. Just to bring you guys up to speed, Impossible Dream is a nonprofit. Of course, going to put all the links for you guys to check out and all of that. What you guys do is very special. So you take people on board. It's not just for wheelchair, right? Anyone with any kind of disability, whether you can see it or not see it, and just that can benefit from the beautiful healing quality that it is to be on the water and be with a similar group of people that love what they're doing. So we don't charge for anybody to come on board. And this will be our eighth year of going from Miami to Maine and back on our summer voyage. And we take five months and we stop at rehabilitation hospitals, disability organizations, veterans organizations, and we take people with disability sailing and we sometimes take them out of the hospital. Mm -hmm. And the other piece of it is, is that the crew that moves the boat to get up and down the coast to do those miles is a crew mostly with disabilities that do legs. So they, mm -hmm. you know, they get on and off, we get them in and out. And while we're taking out other people that are newer injuries and newer to their disabilities out of hospitals, they get to meet people like myself, like Harry, and like everyone else that sails this boat with us. And it really creates something special. And it creates a little light in a very dark place that it could be in the beginning of these journeys. Rico and I always joke, you know, people say they're depressed. We have friends who are like, you know, I'm depressed. We always say like, you just got to put that person on the boat and let them go sailing. Right. Within a day, the depression, <laughs> it changes, you know, it's so incredible. So even for us, we don't have any disabilities of that sort. Like we take people on board for charter and Three days later, people change yeah, no, everything in them. It's you can incredible. just see it in people's faces and how they feel. So I can only imagine, you know, when someone is really going through a really rough time, going out in the water and, and being it, it, able to do something like this. A lot of times in like the this. beginning, they're fearful because they don't go on the water in chairs. With of course, <laughs> yeah. And then they're fearful, and we get them on. The captain cajoles them. 
up the ramp and everything like that. And some of them probably never even been on the water. Right. And then they get, when it's time to leave, it's a different person. So how do you get them off? They probably don't want to go. Hard to get them <laughs> off. <laughs> what is the plan for the boat? What's the plan for the future? Are you looking for another boat? Are you thinking to expand? What are the plans for the next couple of years? Our dream, the three of us, to build a bigger boat. Impossible Dream is completely accessible, but below she can't handle large wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. And so our dream was to build a boat that we could get people that are in large motorized chairs that they could be below and overnight with us also. So we had discussed this and we got in touch with Nick Bailey and we have a design for a new boat. COVID happened and, you know, we kind of got thrown off our game. It would be a big capital campaign. Yeah. Maybe something we can help with, you guys. It's There's a, a big no community brainer. out there. It's a no-brainer because it's the future of boating. And the baby boomers who are turning 70 and the boaters, they love to be on this boat. You know, it, knees and hips and, you know, unfortunately that's what happens. So it seems like it would be a no-brainer for the industry to build a boat like this. I totally agree. Every time I've seen a sailing catamaran for wheelchair access, it's always been access here in the cockpit, interior access. Sometimes there's down below, but I've never seen one that you can go all the way forward to the bow. Yeah. And so, drive the boat. Well, that's a whole other thing, right. yes. Yeah. <laughs> but we get there. But just to be able to go all the way to the bow is so cool. So please take us so we can show it to everybody. You know, I could be here and Harry can pass me yeah. because it was thought out. It was all thought out. Yeah, there's nothing. Thing, oh, I didn't think about this. Amazing. You're so right. You're there's so nothing right. that wasn't thought out on this boat. We've had 12, maybe even 14 at one time wheelchairs. Yeah, up here. Up what here does that look like when you guys roll well, into send you roll right into a, a <laughs> marina? <laughs> like when you roll into marina with 12 chairs in the front, I mean that's like a serious head turner. Yeah. Nobody forgets us. I would literally run up to try to talk to you and be like, "How is this possible? This is insane." People get excited. They oh, get yeah. excited when we come. People they know us now also. They get excited. So cool. All right. So what do we have on about? First of all, we haven't yep. even talked about the construction itself. Yes. I actually learned from the captain that the boat is built out of carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber boat. Yep. Oh, it is. It's, yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, that's kind of I important. think it was one of the first then in 2002. Wow. Because he's recreational. So, you know, 20 years ago, carbon fiber was not like it is right now that everybody is like, oh, let's put carbon fiber on here, carbon fiber on there. That was like a complete different kind of situation like 20 years ago. The heads were carbon fiber. Wow. So this boat is fast. Well, one of his challenges to the designers was to make it as light as possible and gave them a bonus for every right. kilo they were able to drop To off. save, yeah. Wow, so he really wanted to, for yeah. it to be a... He was a racer. He yeah. was a racer. You know, he was a skier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A, he wanted to be a performance yeah. catamaran. That's why the lifts are so fast. That's, yeah. that's him. Well, they were faster. He you didn't change want to, them yeah. for more weight, right? Yeah. They were faster? They were faster. I would be like, scared to be on one if and it's that fast. And then Harry and I spent the night in Mike's house in New Forest near Southampton. The house was magnificent. It was redesigned by Nick Bailey. And he had this elevator that I can't tell you how fast it was. It was the fastest <laughs> thing I've ever been on. It was like, it just shot. You know, you're so used to like, the, he's a speed demon. That's unbelievable. So there are a lot of extremely unique features uh -huh. on this boat of course just to have the accessibility but also there are so many hydraulic features of course electric winches i mean things are on this boat which are now like just getting into the production world it was unthinkable 20 years ago i can't wait to show it to you guys okay cool <laughs> and also when the boat splashed in 2002 it was also very well known or admired for its electronics which we changed we upgraded but it was so forward thinking in everything that was put on this boat. Let's keep going. So what I found also very interesting is that everything is flush here. So of course we have this really nice wheelchair access here, but here as well, for people that are not on a wheelchair but have other disabilities, people have a prosthetic leg. It's just such an easy access, right? Everything is 
plush and flat it's pretty easy to get to so it's pretty nice because you guys have part That's of your... a good observation i just noticed it right away when we got here so you know there are no hatches sticking out nothing so you got some storage captain take us through what do we got storage <laughs> yeah just you got storage here right that's the anchor winch that's the oh this here yeah 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 and then there's the anchor oh wow okay stainless steel chain galvanized anchor 60 pounds quick winch electric it was hydraulic but we switched that out Mm -hmm. Water tanks. Oh, these are your um, Got it. Yep. And then down here, this is all the anchor chain. Yeah. Some daily marks and that kind of thing. And then there's a uh, 140 feet of chain and then another 140 feet of line. That should be enough to get you through the day. And then storage, we have, well, the dog's on that one, but yep. we have. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's an interesting mechanism, hatch huh? Hatch mechanism. I've oh, never seen that huge. before. Oh, that's so what's so, that? This is a large ramp that we use for people in power chairs because that ramp doesn't have the weight capacity mm -hmm. to lift a 300 pound electric chair yeah. and a person. And so that ramp deploys out the side and then it's just a ramp. Wow. Super cool. Is that really heavy? Not really. It's no? aluminum. Okay. Oh, it's aluminum. Yeah, right. I can lift it by myself. But oh. Easy access too, like decent stairs there. Mm -hmm. So this is also really neat that you have this hatch that opens all the way. I mean, it's such a unique look to the boat. The windows are incredible. So when we got the it's boat... It's like a spaceship. Um, yeah. And it's a circle. Yeah. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> yeah. When we got the boat, this hatch only came this far open. And you would pull it here with a line mm -hmm. to get it oh. tight. It had springs here. And that's it because it's from England. You I guys did this? Yes. This, okay, yeah. got it. Yeah. Well, so we took a cold water boat and brought it to Miami. Yeah, because <laughs> not having this cross breeze in there would well, be Well, when Harry and bad. I went on our first ride on the boat in England, we were in here, it was November, and they were so proud of the heat. Remember, it was like, feel the heat, the heat's really good. And Harry's going, we don't need heat, we need air conditioning. So when this is open, you have a lot of airflow. Yep. It's great yep. for the tropics. Very few catamarans have steering up in here. The visibility from here, you know, it's nothing like this is amazing. in the back. I mean, you can just look out, which you don't yeah, really I mean, have if that. You, yeah. In a regular catamaran, you have to have someone on lookout. It's changing now, like Porter. that's what he said, like this is pretty revolutionary there, at the time. There, there are a lot of features on here which are now becoming a standard, which yeah. is pretty amazing. Which this boat already has, so pretty cool look to it. Definitely looks like a spaceship. I totally agree with you there, bro. Well, you have an in-boom furling system here, right? Mm -hmm. And then I got a little sneak peek already earlier and we had a little conversation. So the main sheet is operated hydraulic, is that right? Hydraulically? Uh, all the winches and the main sheets on a hydraulic ram. Yeah. So it's push button, sheet in, sheet out. If you get into trouble, there's a main dump button, which you press that and the sheet just goes out. And then to hoist the sail, there's a uh, hydraulic winch. Everything can be operated from inside, and we'll see that when we get inside. Uh -huh. So you hoist the sail, you hit the button, the sail starts going up, you release the boom brake, and up she goes. Wow. You can reef it, you stop it along the way, you apply the boom brake, yep. and then tighten the halyard the, the rest halyard of the way, yep. and then you can reef the sail. And I see you also have some solar panels on top, right? Yep. Did it come with the boat already? Came or with the solar panels, came with it. the boat. No it. way! Mm -hmm. Wow. Another very progressive. Yes. Yeah, you didn't see that. I can see why it had good hello. <laughs> right. Like, exactly. Right. Everything exactly. Else. Exactly. I mean, like, I know. shoot, I know. this is crazy. So how do you get up there? This is a handhold. Ah, oh, okay. All right. You just like, go like actually, this. Actually, okay. it's pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't sure. When we sailed with the um, tall ships to Quebec, and back and when we were in Halifax the rest of the ships were crossing uh -huh. were leaving and we were going to go back down and to say goodbye to everyone they got me like with a pulley they got me in my chair up there yeah we used the halyard yeah. we, yeah. and uh seriously yeah, yeah so she cool. just pretty much just rolled up the <laughs> side yeah just rolled up the side and then once you're up there you can move around pretty yeah, good it was fantastic yeah. Well, we have a really good friend of ours Dustin that if you guys haven't seen the video he is the very first double amputee to sail around the world he just completed in December you can check it out right here in the pop-up if you watch the mobile device I'll put in the description under the video a link for you you guys gotta meet yeah um, we'd I, love could, to. I could see how he would be so excited about this because you know he sailed around the world in two different boats sailing monohulls and none of it was access for that but I could see that he'd be all over this he'd be like this is absolutely insane I mean just even access here you know yep. he could easily get up there I could see that so pretty cool yeah he gave the term single-handed a complete different new Com meaning, <laughs> different meaning. Yeah, exactly. let's go aft or sure yeah why not yeah, let's we'll go just, around this way so it's a, obviously a full circle so we yes. can go all the way right yes exactly I'll follow you guys 
What are these covers for? What's in there? These were their idea for fenders, so they're attached, so someone in a chair could just get them out and throw them over. Oh, we don't use you them. You don't use them, got it. And so we just, just lost one in the 10 foot seas. And so we put this over it, and some of them are empty, and we store things. Yeah, you don't, you don't need it. Okay, got it. It's an interesting idea that it didn't work. Here are the outside stations. We never use them. Oh, okay, I see your exterior yeah. stations here. But you guys never use them because you always we drive it. We never use them. We yeah, always I drive. Mean, that seems very complicated. Yeah. There. Totally. But technically you could. Technically Docking. one on each side, yeah. You upgraded the electronics here as well? Yes. yes. Wow, that's amazing. I mean, being here is definitely, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool, huh? Yeah. I get the feeling of being outside up there too. Like, yeah. you know, in the beginning, like these were exciting. Yeah. But that's really. <laughs> well, you feel like the captain of the ship there. Well, that's it's so the cool. Main, it's like you know, that's the main show. So this access door, how is this used? Do you guys do a ramp or if you're ever backing in? Or? There's a passerelle. Passerelle, okay. Yep. It's in or here. In, uh, oh, it's already in it's here. It's in here. It's in there. It's, yeah. There's a 13, 14 foot passerelle platform uh -huh. under this. Yeah. This folds open, you pull it out, and then it fits in this into the receptacle. Hole, yeah. Right? This opens up, Got and then it. Uh, that's it. I'm so stunned by all the features and the design of everything. This is incredible. I wonder how long it took him to design it. I'm not sure. It was yeah, a big project. Yeah, it was a big it was project for sure. a five year project. Yeah. And also the sugar scoops are extremely large. I don't know what was the purpose of it, but you know, the time build of the catamaran, like right now all the catamarans and sugar scoops are getting bigger and mm -hmm. bigger, but I feel like that wasn't I, I don't the know. We have a way of getting in and out of the water. Mm -hmm. I don't know about Mike, if he didn't, he probably bumped up and down the sugar scoops yeah, mm -hmm. sure to get on and off, so mm -hmm. I, that Yeah, it seems like they're it. like an extra wide, so you have space yeah. to maneuver once you want to come out. Well, and they're really low to the water, yeah, so exactly. getting out of the water is probably a little bit easier yeah. than having like a huge step, like right. some of the other catamarans right. have. I right. mean, that would be almost impossible getting out of the water. Yeah, and that's like, where all the fun happens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, so we have a seating area here. You guys ever have like a table you put here? Here to see. Oh, well. uh, I'll show you the table. Oh, wait, there's a table Watch in out. there. Back up. Oh, no. <laughs> so. Brilliant. Also, carbon fiber, at least the supports. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't want to know how much this boat costs to build. When it's like that, yeah. a wheelchair can pass through. Yeah, just hop. And then, and then we have another one if we have bigger dinners and everyone could sit on the thing. Oh, wow. This so it makes, even bigger. makes for a huge table. It's fantastic. This one's a little wider. You oh. have to decide which side you're going to be on. Interesting. Before we put them up, and the person who's on this side is going in and out a lot. Grab the makes, salt and pepper and the wine and all that. Yeah, yeah. So you could easily just come up and sit here. Yeah, that's what we did. Oh, yeah, eight. Hey, easy, huh? Very cool. I didn't expect this. They also made a whole mock up of the whole boat. Mm -hmm. to, figure this out. to figure out can you fit through is it possible is it not possible it makes total sense right. because huh. before you build a whole boat you build it out of wood and build a model kind right. of yeah and see if it works all right well i'm excited to show you guys an interior because it's got a lot of <laughs> yeah. unique features for sure well here also you can see the boom it's pretty great you know you can see what's happening up there you have rails here for anybody's walking up and you have doors that open up this way so there's plenty of room for everyone to go in and out. Hey, right, come on in. On a British boat. I feel like I'm at home already. <laughs> this is definitely very, very different. I mean, it does have that feel like you said. So like a spaceship, totally. I feel like we should show the galley. This is electric? Mm -hmm. This is fascinating. Yeah, and cool. it's nice and bright and yep. airy, and you can also see and what's happening with the sail. sail. When we're raising and lowering the sail. Very cool. Here's the hob. Yeah. You know, this is induction stove. We have two drawers. Okay. Silverware in there. Nice. We have a combination microwave oven. convection oven, yeah. your sink, and then the accessible refrigerator. Everything is very Down deep. Here. Oh, wow. This is actually really great access, good position for it. Yeah. Oh. And the freezer's the freezer. over here. And it goes all the way back. And dual sink here, good size sinks. I mean, this is definitely unusual for me because this feels so low. Mm -hmm. Right, right. But yeah. it's perfect height, yeah, right? Like it really that. works. And then you got some like little storages here yeah, as well. We yeah, have other, we have a that. storage here where we keep dishes and things like that. Oh, that's a big drawer. Yeah, they go back so far. And then that's a huge drawer and that's our pantry drawer. You're going to go and talk go, shop yeah, yeah, over yeah, yeah, there yeah, yeah. with Will. 100%. So, you know, this is completely hydraulic. 
push button, raise the sail, drop the sail, trim the sails. And here we have our checklist for raising and lowering the sail. So, uh, you know, let's remove the hoist station table. So this comes off. Oh. oh. And then the halyard goes around here. Yep, yep. Right? So that's the main halyard, yeah? This is the main halyard. I like how nonchalant we're about all this. Very interesting innovations here. <laughs> anyway, this is our whole checklist. We read okay. it every single time. Turn on PTO pump. There's a uh, hydraulic pump that runs off the generator, gets us more oomph. Sail goes up much faster. Otherwise, generally for the lifts and trimming the jibs and just general ship's operations, we're running off an electric 24 volt hydraulic pump. So you hoist the sail, here's all the buttons, traveler, course main, the boom furl brake, which you have to release when you hoist, yep. and then the halyard. It's also remote control. There's a remote control behind Harry. And so we're actually usually doing this with a handheld remote control. Got it. Right? What are these spectra lines for? This is the main sheet that we were talking about earlier. And then it goes continuously through to the traveler sure see it there, yeah. and then all the way back down here and then it goes to a hydraulic ram and it's actuated the hydraulic ram pulls it in and eases it out so and, the hydraulic um, ram sits in the, the floor? hydraulic ram is there under Harry, and all the stuff comes through here oh yeah so, so you it got, comes through here yep and then back out that way that is amazing so it gets redirected all the way back here and can i take that off yeah oh. <laughs> Wow. And you can see those hydraulic rams, like they were so conscious about saving weight. Those are aluminum hydraulic rams. Wow. Rather than stainless or hard steel or whatever, but yep. you know, they cost twice as much. That's a first, never seen that before. So you hoist the sail from here, your halyard's here, comes down. This is the uh, Genoa halyard. It's generally just static. It never yep. really comes up or down unless you're taking off the sail off the boat. This is your topping lift here. Right here, this is how we get our alignment for the boom. It has to be for the know, angle. 88.5 degrees, I think, is the ideal angle. For, for the boom furler. For the boom furler. Yep. But anyway, this is how we do it. And sometimes yep. I'm like, ah, oh, that didn't go up so good. Let's do the, you know. <laughs> but it's amazing because this is the range of operation. You get out of that and you try to furl the boom and it can be tricky. So that You tolerance. gotta get wrinkles in the sail. Wrinkles, pop battens through the, I've had battens come through the batten pockets, you yep. know, and had to sew that up and all of that stuff. Yeah. Coming forward, this here's is our, uh, is our helm. Right, here, let me move this back. Yeah. We well, let's talk about it. that first. Oh, the chairs? chairs? Yeah. Oh, okay, so these sure. are another custom feature of the boat. These chairs are designed as once someone in a wheelchair gets in it, and Mike was a paraplegic, mm -hmm. you go like that, and the chair can move. You can drive the boat, or you can come over here work the winch. All the winches are hydraulically actuated. This is the staysail and Genoa's come down through here. These are the cars, you know, to move the jib cars up and back. Mm -hmm. And then here we have, this is a tweaker hydraulic ram, oh. which um, you can go in and out with it. And you can see it'll move. I think it's moving. Puts more tension on the sheet so you don't have to go all the way to here to the winch button from the driver's seat because there's a jib ram button here. So you can just adjust the jib in and out a couple degrees from right there. This is the uh, shifter for the engines. This is the engine start panel. Battery switches here. This is our autopilot controller. These are our banks of switches for various controls. Center boards, traveler, Coarse and fine main in, the jib. Speaking of that, we haven't even mentioned that. Oh, um, nice. That's so, what I would do. So the boat has a center boards. Boat has center boards. Got it. Our draft without the center boards is three foot seven inches, mm -hmm. and with the center boards, it's seven foot plus. Okay. Oh, that's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a big difference. But yeah. um, performance, going sailing with the center boards is definitely a lot of fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So when you guys purchased the boat, the boat was a 220 boat, a European spec yes. boat. Yes, it was. So you had to do some modifications to. Yeah, I mean, the, and we did modifications to the outlets, and then the captain will talk about the other modifications that had to be made. Yeah, so basically, Basically, it's very close to what we got when it came. We put an isolation transformer and that separates the boat from the dock. And basically with all these transformers, battery chargers, you know, whatever comes in, it's still going to output 50 or 60 hertz. Mm -hmm. There, It's all 220, right? It's going to output the 24 volts, whatever amperage you want. So we didn't have to change any of that stuff. We put new air conditioners that are 50, 60 hertz because the generator when we got the boat 
was a 50 hertz yep. Fisher Panda generator. Mm -hmm. When we went to the new generator, we got a 60 hertz. Well, actually, we ended up having to do 50 hertz. It's a Kohler generator that you can, you can configure. You can do either one. Yeah. You can do either yeah. one. And my goal is to one day to get to 60 hertz mm -hmm. because it's 15% more powerful yep. on the air conditioner side. Yeah, so that's what we did. And for the outlets, we installed an inverter a 110 volt inverter. And that and the isolation transformer were the big moves. Other than that, it is essentially a 220, 50, 60 hertz boat. Yep. And then the 220 inverter is 50 hertz and that will run the microwave, oven, and the stovetop. Can I just mention that you're sitting on the carbon fiber chairs? Like no big deal. Carbon fiber <laughs> chairs. Very fancy custom. Very fancy. And then I'm um, looking at the electronics that doesn't look like 2002 to me. <laughs> no, so uh, I mean, when the boat was built, it was amazing what they did with the electronics because again, they had stuff like you said that you're mm -hmm. seeing now. They had an original digital switching system, which was running off a combination of a PC computer. They had one of the first touch screens ever built. That was pretty much right touch there with- Touch screens. Touch screen. Like you the know. garments we see. Well, yeah. like, yeah. The, you yeah. know, like this touch yeah. screen yeah. like you have now, but it I'm was- I'm just, a, it's sinking in. <laughs> but it was a PC computer and it was interfaced with a PLC computer, which is what runs all the hydraulics. And so you could turn on and off lights and all that stuff like a modern boat from a screen. It was really That's wild. Crazy. It was remote control servos, like for little airplanes and yep. boats, yep. actually turning the breakers on and off. They engineered the whole thing. No, they built the frames, the mounts, all that stuff. It was an amazing system. But now that the modern day stuff was much better. So we had to update all the electronics and now you got the digital switching that you had previously with mm -hmm. their proprietary system that they with the you servos. Know, with <laughs> the servos and all that. And now we have a uh, master volt system running off the, all the Garmin equipment. And when we went to do this whole refit of electronics, it was a massive job. So many wires on this boat. You can't even imagine how many wires are on this boat. And MEA came in and they helped us out quite a bit. Mm -hmm. The National Marine Electronics Association. And they uh, really came through with a lot of free stuff. Garmin came in with a big discount on their stuff. And, awesome. Uh, we redid the electronics on the boat. So now you have two multifunction displays, but this is all standard stuff nowadays. So that's a pretty sporty looking helm here. Yeah. Well, why do you think they drive it from interior all the time? I would want, yeah. to, I would want to do that. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yeah, yeah, carbon fiber steering wheel, hydraulic, you know, the autopilot, you hit auto. It's a modern boat. It's very uh, You've very got some comfortable. gauges there, right? I see on port side. We have Volvo Penta engines. Volvo oh, there, Penta yes. is a huge sponsor of ours. They have given us, at this point, four sail drives and an engine. Very right. nice. Because we put 10,000 miles on a year on this boat. Yeah, very cool. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, they've been wonderful. Yeah. And then we, when we're we're in Virginia, we work yeah. with their veterans groups that they work with. Very cool. Yeah. Good to know that you guys have some really reputable brands that are supporting you. Yeah, they've been incredible too. They're us. great. Yeah, we, cool. we go and visit them in Norfolk. There's a Harbor Fest in June. It's a mm -hmm. big celebration. It's Norfolk's a major port, as you know. Never been. Well, it's the largest military base in the world. It's worth going to check out. Yeah. And there's an amazing nautical museum. Uh -huh. This is separate from the thing, but Mariner's Museum. <laughs> they have the winning uh, America's Cup, the Oracle boat. Oh, oh wow. Cool. Like they're hanging from awesome. the ceiling. That's great. It's amazing. So how about the visibility here? I mean, this is pretty incredible. Now, I wonder, like Victoria just said, like everybody wants to just helm the boat from the interior here. Oops. You have complete visibility. Which is incredible. You know, like a power boat. Mm -hmm. So how does she sail? Beautiful. Handles big seas very well. Because it's uh, carbon fiber, it's lighter. And so when you get into these situations where the boat's going fast, you know, you don't stuff it into the way. Yeah, it it kind of like lifts up and... We don't slap. Very yeah. light. Yeah. The bridge deck is very high underneath, so mm -hmm. you don't get a lot of that. The belly slap, yeah. Bang, you know, yeah. we do get it, but you don't get it till you're hitting eight footers. Yeah, when we're oh, walking wow. over, we yeah. saw like it looked really high. How about showing you guys a stateroom or two? Yeah, all how to get down there. Yeah, okay. Let's, let's do it. It's a four cabin layout, and we have two identical cabins on each side. So we'll show you guys two on the port side. They're exact two identical ones on the starboard side. Trust us. There's a lot of personal stuff there, so we're just going to respect their privacy, <laughs> and we'll show you this. You guys can see these two cabins. Let's all do right. it. You know, these lights are interesting. It's about time to switch out all the bulbs, but I went to the light bulb place and I took these in. The guy looked at me and he said, these are antiques. 
Because <laughs> if you look at them, they're a bunch of individual, individual LEDs, LEDs yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. that are yeah. on a little board. Like, this is another thing yeah. that, you know, we were talking about how you see stuff on this boat 20 years ago that's coming in now. There was no LED Did you show this? 20 years ago. I mean, not on a regular boat. That's crazy. Yeah, I've never seen lights like that. Like futuristic stuff. When you get kids on board, it probably completely oh lose it, God. right? All you, they want to do is play to, with this. You have to tell them. Oh, it's so you not have a, a handle toy. right there. You have I handles see. everywhere. Okay. And so you, see, there's the the switch yeah. here, and there's also a switch. So there. you can do it yourself. So you switch you over. You don't need any yeah, help. Exactly. And you have a rail going down. Wow, this is very safe. Hi, Deborah. Hi. <laughs> and this is my cabin back Perfect. here. Yeah. This right. is incredible. No. When I was purchasing the boat and trying to bargain the price, yeah. I said, but the heads are so small. And Mike Brown said to me, know, well, there's nowhere to fall. Universal. And I couldn't say anything. And I think about that all the time. Every time? Yeah. When you're on the I boat? I think about it when I'm on the boat, and I think about it in other places also. Yeah. There's nowhere to fall. So we just do this here. Transfer, yeah, use the bathroom, close the door, leave the wheelchair outside, and that's that. It totally works, yeah, it's really simple. That's All right, phenomenal. hang on, you guys. Let you gonna me come, come, out too? come down. Okay. Come down. Yeah. Do you yeah. want me to come up so no. you have more room? No, I think okay. I think you should stay. Okay, <laughs> I almost think you should do just the tour. I'll stay here. Okay, so we'll go aft first, where you are, right? Yeah, here. So this is my cabin. This is the head. Look who's like a perfect height for her. Right, exactly. It's absolutely perfect Well, height. I don't know if you noticed by the cockpit, the arch is upholstered. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, for yes, people yes, that, yes. Because everybody bumps their head Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah. So yeah. this is the cabin. Yeah. Here we have closet. Hanging locker. Closet here. Nice. This is a nice cabin. Just transfer onto my bed yep. really easily. Mm -hmm. And that's that. If I have to get something from my closet and I'm in bed, I can reach over and get it. Mm -hmm. So everything is at my fingertips when I'm down here. What's back there in the hatch? That's, that's access. access. Okay, got yes. it. Perfect. So for privacy, how do you close the door to the cabin? No that way. That is convenient. And it doesn't take any space away in the cabin or here. Usually I leave it like halfway, Just halfway. like that so the dog can come in and out and things like that. Yeah. But it's fantastic. Pretty cool. So here's our head. Yes. Also, it's pretty easy for you, huh? To there, you just like head. jump out of my chair, get on there. Could use everything. There's a shower. Wet head right here. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah. So to transfer from the wheelchair over to the head, you have I have all the bars. Yeah. Oh, there's handles here yeah. and, and up here. There. Yeah. Yeah, well, of course. I mean, it's something we, you know, normally don't look for, but it's, yeah, it's just no, somebody, they thought of everything. Like, the first year I was on the boat, like, just seeing everything and everything, like, really registering how smart everything was. Yeah. You know, these are closets also. This is a closet here. And this is the door that closes, this is you know, the door. for the head. Yeah. Yeah. Hanging, hanging oh, I see. Actually. So you're holding here. That yeah, makes sense. Just like that. So you have your hanging locker here. Right. Mm -hmm. And so this head is shared, right? Yes. So Perfect. this head is shared. And this is the forward cabin. And this has a lot more storage in it. So I'm 5'7", and I perfectly fit in this cabin, which, you know, works really well for people that are not in the wheelchair. Right, exactly. Right? They're spending time here. But this is also perfectly set up for the wheelchair access because this boards here come flip down, down flip down and, and create a nice wheelchair flat heights. floor yeah so now it's an even surface exactly yeah you got some storage here on both sides and all of a sudden it's super easily yep. accessible very cool you've got a bed a couple of portholes generator is there right here forward so it's exactly mirror image on the other side yes it is cool all right i'm going to use the stairs this time So how do you get through the main engines? The main engines are under the bunks. Got it. So you lift up basically the bed and it's mm -hmm. underneath. And then it's a sail drive setup, right? As you mentioned sail earlier. Sail drive setup, yeah. yes. Yeah. Thank you so much for showing us the boat, you guys. Thank you so much for inviting us, for having us on board. Always reach out to us, guys, when you see something that you think absolutely must be brought to the channel. So this was 
such an opportunity. We really, it was really exciting to meet you Thank you yeah. again, Joe Green. Yeah, exactly. Thank <laughs> yeah. you, Joe. Please tell people how do they get in touch with you. I mean, of course, I'll put all the links in the description underneath the video, you guys. But if somebody is interested in joining you guys, either being part of the crew or just coming on board for a day sale, how do they get in touch? So they can email us and they can find our information on our website. The website is theimpossibledream.org. We also have Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube channel, which is The Impossible Dream Catamaran. So you can get in touch with us that way. Usually if you shoot us an email, the email can either go to info at theimpossibledream.org or directly to me at deborah at theimpossibledream.org. And you'll see that on the website. And you can write to us and tell us what you're thinking, tell us where you are if you're looking to get on board. You and can if, also become an ambassador. So if you think that the town or the city that you live in could really use a visit from the Impossible Dream for its community, you can become an ambassador and help us get there, help us to raise some money so we can take out the community members of those towns. And if anybody's interested in just solo contributing you know just watch the video and wants to support you guys what will be the easiest way the easiest way is on the website hit mm -hmm. the donate button and that's pretty simple and also if you're interested in doing a leg with the impossible dream if you think you can the best way to do that if you've never been on board is follow us and each summer we go from miami to maine and back and we take five months if you were in one of those spots like if you're in boston so get in touch with us and come on the boat and do a day sail with us and that way you can see if this will work for you to do overnight and if you feel like you would be comfortable to do overnight and do a leg with us that would be fantastic and your crew so if you do overnight with us your standing watch you know sometimes we go through 24 hours sailing mm -hmm. you're standing watch you're in the galley you're you know helping cook or clean and you're doing everything that we need to do on the boat help dock lines fenders everything. and obviously you guys assess the abilities and whoever yeah you know, we get yeah how comfortable everybody, people are and everybody know, can have a, a position yeah exactly so what's the plan for the next couple of weeks or month before you guys take off we take off usually around june 1st june 1st okay yeah. cool that's exciting yeah our eighth annual did i say eighth. that five yeah. times eight. already wow. yeah eight. well you eighth just annual. now crossed no, i'm just eight. kidding I'm just, eight. Eight. I'm just kidding. Eight. Eight. <laughs> All righty, you guys. I hope you enjoy this video. Please support. Give them a follow. You know, if you can financially contribute, please give them a follow on Instagram, on Facebook. Promote your community. If you, anybody you know, just, you know, give them a shout. As always, please like, subscribe, and comment, and share, share, share this video. Yep. This is a huge, huge help when you guys do that. It means a lot. Well, if anybody's out there who might want to be involved in any kind of way in the next project, definitely yeah. reach out to Deborah. Yes. Definitely reach out to Deborah. We, we've got the designs. <laughs> Can you say how big the design is planned? What is the current 74. one? 74. 74. 74. That's a big jump up. Yeah. Oh, we wanted 80. Yeah. I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah. It's don't just, we all? Yeah, just where we're going to put it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, one thing we didn't talk about is that we go racing. Oh, we didn't talk about racing. We didn't talk about the racing. We've raced the boat three or four times. This was the uh, Fort Lauderdale Key West Reef, our first race. We got third place in the multi hole. Ooh. Wow. This is the trophy they give you. How many crew? We were four disabled, mm -hmm. and you and Tommy and you guys didn't touch anything. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So three yeah. wheelchairs and one double. And air we ran the spinnaker all night. No yeah. way. Tommy and I got the spinnaker. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But these guys, you know, they were on the winches, they did the whole thing. Wow. Oh, but yeah. wait, we've done even more than that. Yeah. Well, okay, he wants to do it. This is our. You want to blow it? Third do place it. in the multi marine. <laughs> Oh, it's man, so okay. So he did not expect that. No, no. no he did not. Oh, He's like, what is that? Come here. He's like, no, screw that. It's so no, don't yeah. go. Oh. Oh. Ben, oh. Ben, oh. stay on board. Ben, no. Ben, no. Oh, oh, He's like, it. screw all of you. I'm so going forward. So we did the Conch Republic so uh -huh. from Key West to Cuba. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we did that Which race. Which they're not doing anymore. Yeah. yeah. They did it for two years, I think. 
And yeah. then we did the Regatta del Sol al Sol, mm -hmm. which was from St. Petersburg, Florida, to Isla Mujeres, Mexico. Yeah, cool. Oh, that's Four cool. days. And that was great. That's, that was That's incredible. beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful ride. That was really incredible. And we did really well. Mm -hmm. We got and we won one yeah. of the races. Yeah, we did, really well. we did really well. We did really well. We did really well. We did really well. well. I think we, we won actually kind of two won races. I think we won two races. And one of the multi-holes like, ended up drifting off of Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> right. Oh my <laughs> God. Got the currents wrong. There's a lot of currents when you yeah. run that yeah. race. The Gulf Stream, you hit it twice. So, as you guys can tell, nothing is impossible. Everything is possible. These guys are racing and winning races. So the impossible dream would be yours and come join them. Impossible dream take two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, awesome. It's fun. So you did the center boards, you did the draft, and then we stopped at, what did we stop at? Um, the horn. No. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped. We stopped at the. Uh, you guys are too far away from each other. It's kind of not worth. Tiny bit. That's good. That's good. No, that's too close. <laughs> and that's the true personality. And then, and that goes in the whole take. Like that's who you really are. Well, you guys, it's the features. It. It's the yes, features. It's the features. So. Is my dog out no. here? He, Where is he? He's on the uh, Hobie Cat dock, the, oh. the dock over there. God. He just goes like exploring. He's a yeah. rascal. But does he really leave? He's crazy. He's a rascal. Let's go, come on. Come on. With the tail guilty. between his legs. So no. guilty. So bad. So guilty. Yeah, uh-huh. You better come back home. Benno, come. <laughs> come on, go your place, go place, go place. Yeah, you were supposed to be back home by 8 p.m. Bad boy. <laughs> Bad boy. <laughs> I mean, there's so much, so much. So you try both. <sighs> Yawning on me already? There's there so much. Okay, go ahead.